guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my vlog channel, or welcome if you're new here. We're hanging out in my living room right now, which is actually not where I need to be vlogging, but I thought I would just introduce this video while I have some makeup on. But I had an idea, and I've mentioned it in previous videos before. I figured now's a good time as any to do it. I told you guys that I have purchased some clothes off of Amazon. Actually, very recently, I bought a couple of dresses off of Amazon, and I was really impressed with the quality. And one thing I've been really wanting to do is try out some alternative clothes that are available on Amazon and see how the quality is. One of the most difficult things about having like an alternative style is it's really hard to find relatively inexpensive stuff that's also a little bit like emo or goth or grungy that kind of thing and I feel like there are a lot of pretty inexpensive options on Amazon and I just wanted to see how the quality was so I figured we could buy a couple of things together order it try it on and see what I think of them. So at first I was just gonna do a haul, but then I was looking at the Amazon listings and I feel like it takes a little bit of finessing. I don't know if the, that's the right word, <laughs> but I feel like you definitely have to like search for specific things. So I thought it would be really fun to kind of bring you guys on the purchasing part of it and show you like what I'm actually looking up and what like my thoughts are on picking out certain items. So I figured we could kind of just have this whole journey together. So hopefully this is something that you guys might have fun with. But for now, we should probably go into the guest bedroom slash room where I keep all of my nail polishes and order some clothes. I, I imagine they're probably gonna take a little while to order. I do have Amazon Prime. It took me many years to finally give in and actually get Amazon Prime, but this past year, I realized I really need it. So <laughs> let's do some ordering. All right, so it's much later. We're on the Amazon website right now. I was gonna record my screen, but I don't know. I just, I feel like that's too, too much right now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna record me looking at my screen and I'm gonna be struggling I think because my address is everywhere on here so I'm just gonna keep moving this around. But anyway, just really quickly, I did buy a purse this afternoon. <laughs> Let me show you that really quick. This isn't actually related but I mean it's clothing related and I bought it on Amazon so it's clothing adjacent. We're gonna call it that. So I ordered this purse. I thought it was just really cute. I carry a backpack instead of a bag and it's like a canvas kind of material. It has pins all over it and I realized when I was in Atlantic City and kind of like going out and stuff that that's not really an appropriate bag and I was thinking to myself maybe I want a designer bag but then I also thought designer bags are expensive so maybe I don't want that so I just bought this one on Amazon and it was $20.99 but it there was a coupon. It's not showing up now but I guess it's because I used it already. So basically what I'm going to do first is I'm going to type in goth clothes for women. We really have to kind of dive deep in order to actually get stuff. But yeah, let me just scroll through and see. I feel like this is really cute, but these are $35. I feel like that's not crazy inexpensive. This is kind of cheap, but I don't love it. I don't know. Oh my gosh. You know what's crazy is I just bought these. <laughs> not from Amazon though. I bought them from Rags and Rituals, but I think it was the same price. Look through and see what actual stuff. I mean, nothing's really catching my eye just yet. This is cute. I feel like I can vibe with this. There's a bunch of chokers. By the way, I did get the majority of my chokers from Amazon. Amazon, so just keep that in mind. This is cute. Oh, but it's $60. This is cool too, but this is $70. Oh, these two kinds of boots are the type that you would see in a store for minimum $100. So it's $34.99 and there's a 5% off coupon, but it costs $14.99. Oh my gosh, and it's not gonna be delivered until the end of October. Okay, don't be alarmed by this subtotal because we are gonna cut some stuff out of here, but I did some damage. Let me just say, really quick. The things that I search for, I, I search for like the regular things like emo clothes, goth clothes, punk clothes, that kind of thing. And then I also started searching for specifics. Like I knew that I wanted a plaid shirt. So I searched for that. And then I was like looking up goth accessories or I was looking up silver rings, midi rings, like st stuff that I know could be not alternative. But when you put it together with an alternative outfit, it's a little bit more. Here are the boots. I, I, I picked them 
out. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that it's gonna take so long to arrive. So I need to think on that. That's I think the most expensive thing that I have at $35. I'm trying to decide between these two shirts. This one's really cute. It's got like a little bat on it and a moon and I just think it's cute colors, but I don't always wear so many colors, although it does match my hair currently. But what if my hair color changes, you know? Or should I get these little skeletons dancing around an ace of spades, which is, as we all know, the coolest card in the deck. I'm feeling like I might, I don't know, let me save this for later because I, I might want it at some point. This one I'm actually struggling about because I feel like this is going to end up looking stupid on me. <laughs> like, I feel like this would be really cute on a person who's like very petite, but I am not. What are they saying in the reviews? Let me see. I did read through the reviews and I also checked the sizing. One thing that's super important is checking the size chart to make sure that you are getting the right size for you because Amazon sizing is all over the place. It's all different sellers. So then I also found some pants. I don't know if you can see, but they're all kinds of like strappy pants. I also found some tights that have, you know what? I shouldn't show you guys all of the stuff I picked out, should I? All right. I think we're going to order this stuff because we got to see. Let's see what's good. So I have no idea how long this is going to take. Are we about to spend $500 on goth clothes from Amazon? I think we are. Although to be honest, I feel like for the amount of clothes that we're getting, like this is a whole wardrobe worth of clothes and the majority of them do have free returns. So I'm doing this because I want to see if it's worth buying Amazon goth clothes. <laughs> so let's find out. I will catch up with you guys in like a month when everything shows up because some of these things are saying they're gonna take a really long time to ship. So catch up with you guys in a while. <laughs> Hello guys. Okay, so it's been about a month. I actually ordered everything at the end of September and now it's the end of October. So now let's try everything on and see what fit. I actually did just try everything on, which is why it's in this very unruly pile over here. But let me go through and tell you guys what I bought how much it cost and if it fits and if it's good quality. I'm gonna go, there were multiple different orders. Like it was, I ordered once, but they all shipped at different times. So I'm gonna go in order of how they arrived. Okay, so the first thing was actually a set of necklaces. They're called the Borowski Lock Key Pendants Chain Necklace Set for e-boy, e-girl, men, male, emo, goth, women, teen, boys, jewelry pack for parts. What a name. Okay, so it came with two different pieces. This first one is just like a little lock and key. It's like a double chain. Pretty cute. And then it also came with a set of three. This one has a little heart on it and then it also has this bigger chain piece and then it has another little padlock. Overall pretty cute. They don't feel like the best quality. They're very light. I think they're pretty good honestly. This is the kind of jewelry that I wear to be honest. So this one cost $8.58. So I would say overall definitely worth it to Pretty cute necklaces. This pile is just gonna get very unruly as we go. This is the next piece. It's a shirt. It's called the Sweaty Rocks Women's Color Block Butterfly Print Striped Long Sleeve Crop T-Shirt. So there's like a few different options. I got the black and white striped one. It's got these three like tarot card looking pieces of graphic art on them. So it says the sun, the moon, destiny. We have this like attached sleeve. It doesn't go all the way. We also have this sort of higher neck on it as well. And it is a crop top. So I actually thought this was pretty good quality. It feels pretty soft. The shirt is a little stiffer, but it's still pretty cute. It is a crop top. I thought that the sleeves were gonna be too short on me, but they ended up being decently long. So I actually really enjoyed this. I got this in a medium and I think that that was a perfect fit for me. It cost $23.99, which I feel like I would have rather, if this was like a $15 shirt, I feel like I would recommend it more. But that being said, it is really cute. So I guess this one's worth it too. Next, I got this hooded dress. I don't know if I should be reading the names because the names are just like these really long things like OXO women's long sleeved hooded pockets pullover hoodie dress tunic sweatshirt. They really like throw in all the keywords in there. But yeah, so it's basically just this big oversized black t-shirt dress, like sweatshirt dress. It's got a hood on it. It's got pockets as you could tell from the name. The one thing I didn't love about this is I felt like, well, first of all, it kind of made me look like a shapeless blob. And second of all, I feel like it almost had such a wide area for the hips and I don't really have big hips at all. So it kind of just looked like a little awkward in terms of just like how it fit on me. I feel like this might be a better option for people who are a bit curvier than I am because as a non-curvy person, I don't know, it just, it kind of made me feel a tiny bit shapeless. I'm definitely still gonna wear it because it was comfy, pretty cute. I feel like if I just wore this with like leggings, 
that would just be adorable. I don't know. This I got in a size medium and it costs $36.99. Wow. Okay. I am going to keep this, but I actually would not recommend it. I don't think it's incredible. I don't think it's worth $36. It's a very thin material. So this one definitely not worth the money but it is cute. Not worth $36.99. Next up, I ordered this shirt and I feel like this one should say I didn't do a great job kind of explaining the terms that I used when I was searching for stuff because in addition to searching like emo clothes for women, goth clothes for women, I was also just searching like black shirt, striped shirt, plaid shirt, like stuff like that. Just ideas that I already had in my mind for outfits that I could put together and make look a little bit more alternative even if they weren't specifically supposed to be alternative. So this was one of them. I was just looking for like a oversized shirt. So let me see what it's called. This is called <laughs> the Vivi Castle Women's USA Loose Batwing Dolman, Dolman Poncho Tunic Dress Top. And this is actually, I feel like this is a really nice dress shirt. It's a very big oversized shirt and the sleeves are long. They're very tight. They actually have a short sleeve version and they have it in multiple different colors as well. Like I feel like this is definitely something that I would wear to work and I think it's super cute. It feels very high quality. Like I feel like I could go to like a nicer work clothes store and pick this up. Obviously, I mean, I got it in black because I feel like I could wear it to something that's a little bit nicer of an occasion, but like still want to look a little alternative. So I feel like this is perfect for that. I also just love wearing like oversized kind of shirts like this that make me feel like I have wings. This is a one size fits all thing, which is a little scary to do, but it actually does feel like there's a lot of room for different sizes here. This retails for $26.95. I feel like this one's definitely worth it. Next up, I picked out a plaid shirt. I was thinking I wanted like a plaid undershirt to wear under like a big t-shirt. This was the one that I found. I thought red would be pretty cute because I do red hair often. This one is called, this is another Sweaty Rocks. <laughs> brand thing called the women's mock neck graphic print long sleeve t-shirt basic blouse tops and i gotta say this one did not fit me i got it in a small i don't know why i got it in a small i definitely feel like i needed a medium or a large i feel like the material is kind of interesting it's nice ish it's not incredible but it feels pretty warm like i feel like this is a very nice undershirt material i like the length of it i felt like it was like the perfect length it wasn't long but it wasn't cropped at all but because i i have a bigger chest it kind of like wore in that area and it just looked way too tight on me. So definitely gonna return this one, possibly exchange it for a medium. I don't know why I got a size small. I feel like I would have ordered a size medium. So I'm not sure why I even got a small. It even says, based on purchases by customers who wear your size, large or medium would fit you best. Yeah, I feel like I would even consider getting a large of this because it's it was really tight. But this costs $17.99. I feel like it's worth it for that. But yeah, definitely gonna exchange it for a bigger size because this one did not fit me. <laughs> Moving on, I got a couple of accessories as well. This first thing that I got were these fingerless gloves and they have like a little skeleton hand pattern on them. Unisex stretchy fingerless hand warmer skeleton glove, which is exactly what it sounds like. And I was so excited about these. They fit pretty nicely. I don't know. They feel tight, but I feel like I can definitely still wear them. Like they're not too tight on me. If you have bigger hands, this might not be the right way to go. I don't know if they have sizes. No, they don't. So this one was $11.99. Now it's on sale for $9.89. So I would say definitely worth it for this. I think these are so cute. Oh, and they also have like longer versions. Oh, they have a lot of actually cute different options for these, but I definitely like the little skeleton bones. Next up, I got a crop top and it's got like a really interesting zipper on it. This is Tomato Star, which is a great name, by the way. I love tomatoes. Women mesh, irregular skirts, pentagram, zipper, punk, goth, darkness, lady, t-shirt, casual, loose club skirts. <laughs> There's like skirts in here as well, but I liked this shirt, so I got it. And I have to say, I'm not a fan of this. For starters, it was definitely a little tight on me. Like it looks good when I'm just standing still, but when I move, it was way too tight. It does zip all the way up, which I thought was pretty convenient because I definitely could not fit it over my head because the, the arms were just a little too tight on me. I don't know what size I got this in. I actually got this in a large. Wow. I got this in a large and it was still really tight on me. I like this detail of the zipper, but I feel like the material of this, it feels like a Halloween costume material, which I'm not a huge fan of. This one was $20.99. Now it's on sale for $19.99. So yeah, I, I think I'm just going to return this one. Next up, we have something really, really simple, but honestly, probably like my favorite thing that I purchased and I knew it was going to be good. This is called the Goth Punk Ace of Spades Card Shark Gambler Skeleton T-shirt. And 
as you can imagine, it's just a plain black t-shirt. I got it in a small because it is a unisex shirt and I'm usually a small if it's like unisex or men's. And it's the Ace of Spades. It's got these little dancing skeletons on it. I just thought this was so cute. I really liked it. I think I showed you guys this when I was like trying to decide between this and another shirt. I'm glad I picked this one because I really like it and because it's just black and white. I think it'll match whatever my hair color is. So I always just like wearing like black graphic t-shirts. It's something that I wear a lot. So yes, I got this in a men's small and it costs $19.99. I think this one's definitely worth it. Super cute. Next up we have a pair of tights that I saw that were really cute. They are the Leg Avenue Women's Dark Alternative Fishnet Tights. So basically they're just fishnet tights, but these ones have a snake pattern on them and I just think they're awesome. I really do enjoy wearing fishnet tights and I've never had one with like a funky pattern on it like this. So I just think they're really cool. I don't know if they come in size. Oh, they have different, they have different patterns by the way, but the snake one I thought was the coolest. So it's one size and they are $18.95, which I feel like is a little bit expensive, but I think it's worth it. They feel high quality. I know the Leg Avenue brand. I think it's pretty good. So yeah, I mean, I, I think this is a quality piece. They'll, they'll last a long time. So I think it's worth the money. This next one was uh, definitely a little bit more of a questionable purchase. These are the trip safety pin arm warmers and the picture had just like these arm warmers but when they arrived they came with these very very strange like fake rabbit's foot thingies attached to them. It's easy to take off. It's just like a little keychain. That definitely threw me off. Very funky, very strange. And I feel like these are not very high quality. But yeah, it's like there's like a safety pin area. There's like these little, I don't know if they're called grommets. Is that what it's called? I mean, they're pretty basic, but I, I don't think I'd recommend these. I don't even remember how much they cost. These were $17.99. Yeah, I do not recommend these. I don't think these were good. <laughs> but this next thing I absolutely do recommend. So I think I said to you guys, almost all of my chokers are actually from Amazon and I usually just get those massive packs where it's like 50 chokers. So I decided to try it out with rings. I've gotten rings before on Amazon, but I've never gotten so many. This is the 78 piece vintage silver knuckle ring set, stackable joint finger rings for women, bohemian midi rings, boho butterfly snake crystal stacking rings pack. So this isn't technically something that's like alternative, but I feel like wearing a lot of rings is something that's a little alternative or maybe that's just something that I do and I just happen to be on the alternative side. There's like little snakes in here. There's chains. I don't think these are rings that will last forever and I wouldn't wash my hands with them on because I don't think you should really get rings this cheap wet, <laughs> but they feel really good quality. I like that the way that they're packaged is like there's little categories. Definitely a lot of fun rings and I do love wearing a ton of rings at once. You can't tell right now because I have none of them on, but that's just because I was just trying these on. But yeah, I, I think this is really good and I remember them being very cheap. Let me double check. Yeah, these were $16.97 for all of these. Right now they're on sale for $14.97. I highly recommend for that. 78 rings, that's pretty good. Even if they're low quality, like, I, I mean, I don't really wear that many high quality rings. And I wear so many of them, but they may as well be kind of cheap, you know? I don't know. Maybe one day I'll get nice rings, but for now, the cheap ones will do. Okay, this one, I don't really know what I was going for with this because I feel like it does look the same on me as it looks in the picture. This is the Women Harajuku Oversized Striped Casual Long Sleeves Crew Neck t-shirt and it's just like a black and white striped t-shirt. I feel like I almost look like a little bit of like a an emo Steve from Blue's Clues. <laughs> it's cute. It's oversized. It looks like a men's shirt. Like it looks like I'm wearing a men's shirt even though I'm pretty sure this is a woman's shirt. Yes it is. We have a few different color options. It's not particularly flattering, but I think it would be cute paired with some alternative stuff. Again, I thought the sleeves were gonna be a little short, but they ended up being decently long, but I have very long arms, so I was impressed with that. But yeah, this was $21.99, so honestly, I like it. <laughs> I don't think it's particularly flattering on me, but it is comfortable. So I'll probably wear it a lot in the fall and winter. You know, comfy, like throw this on with a pair of tight leggings would be kind of cute. This was a questionable purchase, I will say. This is the punk gothic long sweater for women, hollow out hole, broken jumper, loose tops. I was getting a little Nightmare on Elm Street vibe from this. I got it in the red and black. This is a weird, this is a weird fit. <laughs> I got this in, it's a one size. Okay, so it's a one size fits all, which I guess makes sense. The sleeves are obscenely long. Like they're so incredibly long. I thought I had long arms, but these sleeves are way too long for me. And like, I couldn't really pull them up in a nice way. The material is incredibly soft. It feels very soft and comfortable to wear, but this is such a whole 
filled shirt and the sleeves are so bizarre. I don't know. Like I feel like I could maybe wear it for something that's very, very alternative, but I, I don't know. I mean, actually I'm looking at the model and she also has these sleeves like way too long on her. So maybe it's supposed to be like that, but I don't, I don't know. I have to sit on this one for a little bit and decide. Uh, so this is $24.99. I feel like it's worth it because it feels like nice quality. Like it doesn't feel like eh, questionable quality. It feels pretty decent, but I don't know if it's for me specifically, you know? By the way, I'm I'm trying something new with my hair right now. I don't know how I don't know how I feel about it, but we'll we'll try it out. We'll see what happens. I never do anything exciting with my hair, so next up I got some plaid pants. These are oh my gosh, these are so soft. This is the leggings depot high waisted solid yoga leggings. I got the red one. They're not as alternative looking as I would have hoped. I feel like they kind of look like pajamas. <laughs> They're incredibly comfortable though. I think it's the blue and yellow that's like making them weird. It's a weird material. I don't know what to describe this. It kind of does feel like like yoga pants material. Incredibly soft, incredibly comfortable to wear, and they're actually not see-through, which is nice, but I feel like the colors of this are like really not very alternative, so I'd probably just wear this as like a comfy thing and not like when I'm trying to look edgy, but they are flattering. They do fit very nicely, so I am gonna keep them. They have, it's weird, they have like a one size and then they have a small, medium, large. I'm pretty sure I got the one size. I did, I got the one size. These did actually fit me really nicely. I'm usually like a medium or like a, a four in pants. I, I do recommend these, I think they're good. They have other colors as well. I don't know what other colors I would have gone with, but yeah, these were $11.99. Right now they're on sale for $9.99, so I, I think it's worth it for that. Okay, next up I ordered ordered some jeans and I actually love these. They're very weird though. <laughs> these are the mini B personalized no, pernalized. I don't know what that means. Pernalized punk street style harem pants patchwork zipper pockets. These are so cute. They fit me perfectly. They have a nice bit of stretch to them, so it feels like a good quality pair of pants. The patchwork pieces are very bizarre. They feel like they're a different material, like a very, very worn pant. They have huge pockets. There's only like a w w pocket on one side and then there's this like giant pocket on the other side. It goes around to the back. I mean there's definitely a lot going on here but they're incredibly cute and weird and I absolutely adore them. I noticed that the zippers don't actually do anything like they're just zippers for the sake of being zippers. I wish they were silver instead of gold but I'm fine with that. And I also noticed there's like a little skull and crossbones on the button clasp thing so that's fun too. Let me see what size I am. So I got these in a large and they fit me perfectly. They cost $34.98 which is expensive but not as expensive as like nice jeans cost usually. Like I feel like I, I generally have to pay more for jeans and I don't buy jeans very often. I think these are worth it. I don't know. They're they're weird, but I think they're worth it. <laughs> Next up I got this skirt. I feel like I see this skirt everywhere. I see every single brand that advertises alternative clothing has this skirt and I've always wanted to try it. So I figured I may as well just grab it while I was doing this video. There's like so many different variations of this, but this is the women's high-waisted short A-line flare gothic mini black red plaid pleated skirt dress. It doesn't really look like the picture. I mean, when you look at it, it does, but it's it's this very thick material. Like it almost feels like wool. I don't know what material this is. There's like a, a skort part to it. So you have like built-in, I don't know, is it built-in underwear? Built-in shorts, whatever. This is like way huger than I imagined. It feels like a very heavy piece. It has this nice little corset detail on it. It has a zip up back, but I, I did definitely get this in a size too big for me. I don't know how I would have felt if it did actually fit me because I feel like there was just so much material. I don't know, like I feel like it looks like like a uniform, <laughs> like a like a high school uniform. So I wasn't a huge fan of it. It felt pretty long. I'm still curious about it. I might, I might want to try it in a different size. I got it in a large, which I think was way too large on me, which is funny because I feel like usually in skirts, I have to size up. I think I'm definitely a medium in this. <laughs> so this was $29.99. I'm not gonna keep this one. I mean, it does, it feels very high quality. Like this feels like a quality piece. Maybe if I got the right size, it wouldn't feel so huge. Like just in terms of like how much material is here. I don't know, I don't know. It's not 100% for me. Next up, I got a pair of plus size pants. In the picture, 
they looked completely different. I don't even know if I'm gonna show you guys me trying this on because it was actually terrible. In the picture, they look like they're like really cool, like a like a hybrid between pants and leggings. In person, it's like that cheap, thin Halloween costume material. These were called, by the way, the plus size women's pants, gothic, crisscross, lace up, buckle strap, skinny leggings, steampunk ladies trouser. They're just, this is garbage. Like I feel like you can find this in a Halloween store. There's like this very cheap, strappy materials. It's like not stretchy at all. It's just this weird Halloween costume material. It has a side zip up, but it didn't fit me at all. I don't know what size I got. I got these in a medium. I should have gotten them in a large, but I would not even exchange these for a large because they were honestly garbage quality. <laughs> like this just felt like a Halloween costume that did not fit. I don't recommend these. These cost $15.09, but they are worth $0.00 and zero cents. I did not enjoy them. Next up, I got this men's pullover hoodie thing. This one is called the Guru Navani contrast color pullover hoodie men's patchwork hoodies men. So I looked up tech wear for this because I feel like that's like a genre of alternative that I'm very much into. And I came across this men's hoodie that I think is super awesome. So it's mostly white. It has these black sleeves. It doesn't go all the way. And then it has like black on the bottom. It has these little strappy things. It also has this little like patch on it. It's got these cool, I don't know. It's just like a cool look. I feel like I like wearing men's hoodies. I'm sure a lot of people do. I just think the vibe of this one is cool. I think pairing this with like super tight pants and like combat boots would be such a look. Definitely like this. The one thing is though that the hood was way too small. Like I couldn't even get it like over my head. So definitely not gonna be wearing the hood on this, but the rest of it is super cute. I got this, it, the sizes were so weird. So it said like extra small, 3X large, small 3X large, medium 3X large, large 3X large, and then extra large 3X large. So I got the, I got the small 3X large, but it ended up fitting really nicely. And this costs $28.80. I think it's definitely worth it. It feels like a pretty good quality piece. Okay. Okay, and then we have the best for last. This is the thing that took so long to arrive. It literally took a month to arrive. And that is these boots. This was the thing I was the most excited about when I was first shopping for everything. I know I mentioned it to you guys, but these kind of boots are like not this inexpensive. You can buy these in alternative clothing stores for like minimum $100. So I was really eager to see what they were like in person. These are called the Women's Goth Knee High Boots Wedge High Heel Motorcycle Platform Combat Ankle Boots. <laughs> so I got these in a size seven. They fit perfectly. They cost $34.99, but the shipping was an additional $15, but I feel like that's still way less money than I would have spent if I had gotten them somewhere else. They're these just really gorgeous super high chunky platform boots. I feel like these are like the classic like goth platform boots. They have these little like plated pieces on them. They're not the best quality little plates, but I don't think anybody's gonna be looking that closely. I don't know if that's the size. It says 38 on the back. I feel like that might be the size. Yeah, I thought when I first opened these, I was like, is this good quality? Cause it kind of feels like like a foamy kind of material on them. But once I put them on, I was actually like, okay, these are, these are pretty good quality. Like, I don't think they'll last forever. I think they might eventually break down a little bit and probably a little bit quicker than some other boots. But I feel like for the, the quality of these for the price is incredible. Like they feel very comfortable to walk around in. I don't usually wear like platforms ever, but they were super comfortable. It didn't feel like it was that high of a heel because you can see the platform is so high that the heel is itself like your your foot is not up too high it really wasn't too bad at all they're super comfortable i just think these are adorable so i feel like these are absolutely worth it <laughs> and they were true to size i am a size seven or size seven and a half so i ended up picking out a seven and they fit so perfectly definitely love these they're super cute i'm gonna be wearing them a lot and we'll see if they fall apart <laughs> oh wait there was another piece that i ordered oh yeah i got this dress too sorry i forgot that i also ordered this dress i got this it's called, what is it called? E-P-E-B-O bodycon dress for women, short sleeve, crew neck, casual, tight dress, sexy mini dress. So if you guys watched when I went to Atlantic City, I ordered a couple of dresses off of Amazon, a couple of like LBD dresses, and they were really cute and they fit so nicely. So I got this t-shirt dress as well, and it also has like a very fuzzy soft inside, which is really comfortable, but I didn't love this. This was another instance where I felt like I just did not have enough hips for this. Like it almost 
fit very awkwardly because they were expecting me to have hips and I really don't. So it was, it's cute, but I'm not gonna keep it because I'm just not curvy enough for this. But it is very comfortable. I like the material. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a dress material, but it also has this like soft, felty inside. Felt is not the right word. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a very soft inside. So I got this in a medium and it comes in multiple colors. Obviously I got it in black and it costs $20.99. Right now it's on sale for $15.99. So I think it's worth it if it fits you. I don't have the hips for it, so I am going to return it. <laughs> so yeah, those are all of the pieces that I ordered and those are my thoughts on all of them. I would say majority of them were actually worth it. I think there's definitely a little bit of trial and error that needs to go into purchasing clothes on Amazon. Amazon because you never really know what you're gonna get. But definitely one of my biggest tips would be to look for things that have free returns because if it doesn't fit or it doesn't look good, then you can always return it, which is nice. But yeah, overall, I, I was actually really surprised at the quality of some of these. So you're definitely gonna be seeing me wear them. It was a fun excuse to just buy a ton of clothes and see how I felt about them. <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.